Now let us look at the closer properties of functional dependencies. Closer properties of functional dependencies and these closer properties are also called as Armstrong's axioms. Armstrong's axioms or inference rules or inference rules okay closer properties or Armstrong's axioms or inference rules okay so the f uh, you can see these uh, closer properties depend uh, so I'm going to define these clo closer properties on X Y and Z which are the set of attributes in relation R okay so let us let me do this thing let me write the f formal things which I'm using so we have given that given that x y and z are set of attributes set of attributes in relation r in relation r then one can derive several properties from that okay so I'm going to give a uh, different functional dependencies on R so the first so the first closer property is called as reflexivity reflexivity the first closer property is reflexivity so what is reflexivity if let us suppose we have a functional dependency uh, if you can say X is a superset of Y X is a superset of Y or you can say Y is a subset of X then then x determines y is a functional dependency the next determine y is a functional dependency okay so here if x y is a subset of x the next determines y is a functional dependency for example for example if i do a b determines a it is a trivial functional dependency and if this is represented by x and this is represented by y you can see y is a subset of x that is why this functional dependency always does hold okay so the second closer property is called as augmentation augmentation so what is augmentation if if x determines y is some functional dependency is a functional dependency then we can say xz determines yz does hold so it is a is a functional dependency is a functional dependency right so you can see I just added the attribute y in both the directions here so I just added, added attribute z in both the directions here and here so that means uh, see z can also be a set of attributes so this this does hold so the third property is called as the transitivity transitivity so what is this transitivity property if we have some functional dependencies like X determines Y and we say Y determines Z then X determines uh, Z also hold right so transitivity again so I'm saying if sometimes you can see X determines Y and Y determines Z therefore you can say x determines z does also hold so this kind of functional dependency uh, this kind of property is called as transitivity okay then next property is the union property union property what is the union property if if x determines y is a functional dependency and y determines or and you can say and x determines z is a functional dependency therefore you can union these two functional dependencies and you can say x determines y z x determines y z so this is called as is a functional dependency this is called as union property the next one is the decomposition property decomposition property this decomposition property is just an opposite of union property that means if you have some functional dependency like X determines YZ is a functional dependency which is already given then you can say X should determine Y and X should determine 
z so x determine y and x determine z that property does hold okay the next one is called as pseudo transitivity pseudo transitivity pseudo transitivity property pseudo transitivity so what is the pseudo transitivity if x determines y and wy determines z then you can say that w x determines z this will be hold this will also hold and the next property is called as the composition property composition property so composition property says if x determines y and z determines w then xz then you can say xz determines yz xz determines yz oh sorry uh, xz determines yw not yz so it is yw so this property also does hold okay so these are the properties and using these properties we are going to uh, you know, we use these properties to identify first of all new functional dependencies for a given set of functional dependencies and secondly we are you know highly or you can say we are extensively going to use these properties to find uh, the candidate keys and you can say roughly in a key in a relation okay